I think it's a mistake for people to hold themselves out as gurus in their field. No matter how long they've worked in it, no matter how well they do, no matter how well recognized they are. You don't want to do that. And I certainly didn't want to do that because I was just a kid. I was pretty young and I wanted to write and I wanted to write about trial advocacy so I needed a guru, but it couldn't be me. Mm -hmm. So I had been on a committee that had a teacher on it whose name was Angus. Now I don't know what his last name is, that's gone down the memory hole decades ago, but I liked the name Angus. It sounded like wisdom. It was a Scots name for crying out loud, and I'm a McElhaney, and that's Scotch-Irish. And so I liked the idea of Angus. And so Angus became my guru. He was the one that lawyers went to when they needed advice with a tough nut to crack about evidence, about trial advocacy techniques, about procedural ploys that you could participate in, all of the genre of things that trial lawyers have to be involved in and know about and handle, I needed a guru. And so I had Angus giving them advice. And that's where that rascal came from. And he never had a last name. Why? I would just spoil things. It's whatever they want. And I would get letters from people, by the way. Mm -hmm. I would get letters from people who would give Angus a last name. <laughs> and they would say, what does Angus McPherson say about it? Angus something or other say about this or that or the other? They assume that he's got a last name. And I said, Angus was very flattered by your letter. And, and then I would write my answer to their question about what Angus would say, but it would be very short and quick because I wouldn't have too much time to do those kinds of things. Right. Sometimes I would have phony letters to Angus from phony people to raise questions because I would have a series of related but not contiguous things that would fit together as a story. And I like stories. I believe in stories. Stories are how we understand the interrelationship of events. The story is the heart. Stories are the heart of the Bible. I mean, you can memorize these little things here and there all you want, but the stories are fascinating. They're, 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 they grab you. Stories are the heart of what interests people.